well, well. How the tables have turned, or the turntables. Anyway. Well, shit. It's early. You'll have to forgive me. Etep Wakuian right here with you. We are covering a story from a couple days ago. I thought this was so funny. I had to cover it, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, Abenaki tribe demand Ben and Jerry's pay reparations for stolen land. Yes, folks, I know. I know what you're thinking. How? How could a company run by such virtuous people as Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield, um, how could they come under fire from the indigenous people who they swore to virtue signal on behalf of? How could white leftists get it so wrong? Well, I mean, let's face it, the white leftists get it wrong pretty much about 90% of the time. Um, you know, because they are always in favor of stupid shit. Like, giving back stolen land. I don't know if you've studied much U.S. history or not. I mean, I'm not an expert on the topic, but I do know that uh, Native American tribes regularly fought, killed each other over land, took it from each other, would lose it to another tribe, then another tribe, then a tribe would take it back, then another... Two hours later. Uh, but it wasn't a problem when they were doing it. But we, you know, we, I say we, like I was fucking on the Mayflower or some shit. What's humorous about the entire thing is, like I said, you have these tribes that would war and kill each other over land. Every inch of the land in this country is soaked in blood. And we're going to pretend now, now, it's wrong. You, you just, Jesus, give it back, please. Give it back, please, you guys. Give it back, please, to the indigenous people that we wiped out by giving them blankets and small poxies and fire water. Just give it back, please. Give it back. What? Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Like, okay, so everybody who's ever taken land, uh, everybody, as, as a people, you have to then give that back. It doesn't work that way. Like, these, these, this leftist white guilt is just, it's so much fun to tear apart. And I haven't even got into the article yet because I'm talking about these two cucks who run a shitty ice cream company. Yes, I know it's worldwide, but is it really that fucking good of ice cream? No, it's not. It's not. And stop pretending it is. It's, it's, <laughs> it's like saying Krispy Kreme are the best donuts on earth. It's like, there's no good donuts because they'll make you fucking fat. <sighs> then you're just like every other American. Fat! Anyway, let's get into this article a little bit. Then you'll be like, oh my God, give the donuts back. Give them back. Like, hang on, you can have them back in about two hours. A tribe descended from an indigenous nation that once controlled a vast swath of Northeast America has called for compensation for the land that Ben and Jerry's headquarters sits on after the ice cream company asked for stolen land to be returned. Ah, yes, Ben and Jerry, you two fucking idiots. Uh, did you not think this one through? <laughs> For such virtuous um, folks, I would think that you would have at least done your homework, but, you know, apparently not. So the Abenaki Band of Council, the Abenaki Band Council of Odanic near Montreal, Canada, told Newsweek in a statement that any compensation for the company's property should go to them and the Abenaki of Wolanac, also in Canada, as the two recognized descendant groups. It comes after the chief of the Nolhegan Band of Kusuk Abenak Kusuk Abenaki Nation based in Vermont. I, I'm not even going to pretend I know how to pronounce that, nor do I really care. Told Newsweek it would be interested in the land being returned to the indigenous hands. You get the fuck out of here, boys. Sorry. You know, I, I mean, you, you fucking were... <laughs> in a July 4th message, Ben and Jerry said the U.S. had been founded on stolen indigenous land and asked others to commit to returning it. This prompted questions about the company giving up its Burlington, Vermont headquarters, which sits on former Abenaki territory, but is not on modern day tribal land. However, the debate over who may be the rightful owner of the ice cream company's property has reinvigorated an ongoing dispute between tribes claiming Abenaki heritage over who should be able to claim the indigenous heritage. Those in Vermont have been accused by those in Canada of having no proven Native American ancestry while claiming to be of indigenous descent. And the Odanic Abenaki appeared to deny that they should have to claim the land. Jesus. 
The Abenaki Alliance, an organization representing the tribes in Vermont, responded by saying that members had met state criteria for recognition, including genealogical documents, adding it had never been our motivation to seek compensation for former indigenous territory. <laughs> you see, you got two factions of the same tribe fighting. And, okay, so say this land, this was back in the, you know, the, there's, I don't know. This is just, this is funny. Like I said, these two groups, now you're, they're, you're not Indians. Oh, my God, I said Indians. You're not Native Americans. And the other ones are like, yes, we are. We have just as much right to it as you. And they're all like, well, who gets it? And Ben and Jerry's is like, why did we open our stupid fucking mouth in the first place? Because we're retarded. Ben and Jerry's in the Abenaki. Ben and Jerry's has yet to respond publicly to questions about it giving up its headquarters, having focused much of its press release on the historic claim to the land of the Lakota of South Dakota. Of course they did, because it's a thousand miles away from them. They don't fucking want to admit that their headquarters is on stolen land. So they're going to go, oh, well, out in Dakota, because that's the only place, the only place that should be given back to them. <laughs> I can't make this up, folks. These people are that stupid. Uh, so let's see here. But now a second tribe has staked a claim to the company's lot in a Burlington business park. Following a council meeting Monday, Abenaki of Odanik said, the Wobanaki, another spelling of Abenaki. Okay. All right. Can we just... So, another spelling of Abenaki is Wobanaki. And that nation agrees there should be compensation for the land. However, it's important to remember that the Odanik and the Wolanek are the only two officially recognized Abenaki communities. It is therefore essential that compensation is not distributed among self-proclaimed Abenaki groups. Newsweek approached Ben and Jerry's via email for comment on Thursday. The acknowledgement of historic tribal lands is a contentious subject, pitting the claims of Native Americans whose ancestors were subjected to the violent persecution and displacement and the status quo of a modern nation with entrenched borders. While some say colonized ancestral lands should be at least partially returned, nope. others say that it is impossible to decide which of the various groups to have claimed land throughout history it should be returned to. Disputed claims in ancestry only complicate the situation. Uh, when asked to comment on the Odanic Abenaki statement, Abenaki Alliance spokesperson said it was unfortunate that a legal entity outside of the United States would insert itself into another country's conversation for political and financial gain, but denied that the Vermont tribes were themselves looking to profit. They said the four tribes are in position of responsibility for native issues that involve homelands within Vermont. And Ben and Jerry's July 4th message involved a Vermont-based corporation on Abenaki homelands, now known as Vermont. So who were the Abenaki, you may ask? Uh, well, uh, the Abenaki, a confederacy of several tribes who united against encroachment from a rival tribal confederacy once controlled an area that stretched from the northern border of Massachusetts in the south to New Brunswick, Canada, in the north, and from the St. Lawrence River in the west to the east coast. According to, according to historical records, the Abenaki initially traded with the European settlers in the 16th century before allying with French colonizers against English settlers in growing territorial disputes. Many fled to what is now Canada following a series of defeats at the hands of the English. Uh, but the Abenaki were not confined to Vermont and the settlement at Odanik, though now less than three square miles, is believed to have emerged in the late 1670s. Okay, so what we've got here is a clear case of virtue signaling gone terribly wrong. On one hand, you have a global billion dollar corporation virtue signaling that stolen lands uh, over, you know, a thousand, two thousand miles away in Dakota should be returned to the Lakota people. When aforementioned billion dollar global company's headquarters is built on stolen land. So now the owner, the rightful owners, I have to use a lot of air quotes and stuff, that stolen land say it should be returned and Virtue Signaling Company uh, has firmly shoved their tails up their asses and hid under their desks. The yep, number time. one song for the 10,000th week in a row, Hiya, Hiya, Hiya. Hiya, 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 Hiya. Here we see the tweet in question from July 4th. The Stolen Land. Twitter added context. 
Despite Ben and Jerry's supposed commitment to returning the land they feel was stolen, they have yet to reach out to the tribe whose land their headquarters is on and arrange a return of the land to them. And yes, give all your property and land back to the Native Americans right now then, or shut up. Critical Drinker says, get back to selling overpriced frozen cream. It doesn't even taste good anymore. Cow grapist said the quartering. You give people diabetes, shut up. <laughs> yeah, they absolutely got roasted in this. I, I, I just commented on here and basically thanked them for the video material. Um, as you, you can, like I said, you can see, yeah, they are getting, they got roasted. They got ratioed to hell. This, like I said, this was two weeks ago. But yeah, here's, this is, this meme purpose, uh, perfectly encompasses these absolute morons. You see haagen here's your ice cream. Thanks, I'll come again. And Ben and Jerry's. Before I give you your ice cream, let me ramble about dumb politics first. See, that this is the problem with these modern companies, folks, is you can't just go get a cup of coffee or you can't just get an ice cream without hearing about systemic racism or indigenous people losing their land. I, I, I gotta be honest, I don't care. I don't care. All I want to do is buy a cup of coffee or get a fucking ice cream or get a hamburger or whatever. You know what I mean? I don't need to be lectured by idiots. And as I said, folks, I didn't want to poo-poo how bad Ben & Jerry's was getting roasted here as we looked back at the stolen land tweet with its 31.4 million views, 14.4 thousand likes, 10.6 thousand retweets, but a whopping, whopping 58,000 comments. So they got the ratio treatment. They got ratioed to hell, 283 likes on this tweet from the 12th, uh, 519 comments. That was their first tweet since the infamous land tweet. Even their pinned tweet from December 6, 2022, featuring a dairy-free ice cream with Ava DuVernay. I wonder why. Uh, 1,858 comments. That one got ratioed as well. And yeah, this is, like I said, community notes treatment. These guys need to stick to selling ice cream. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Ben and Jerry's getting roasted, getting ratioed, only tweeting once since July 4th as of today, July 19th, the recording of this video. Now it's your turn. I've given you my thoughts on this entire topic. I think the entire, we're going to give, we need to give the land back, we need to give this back, we need to give that back is ridiculous. As I said, every square inch was taken from one tribe to another, and we're not going, hey, uh, Cherokee, you need to give this back to the Choctaw, and uh, Apache, you need to give this back to the fucking Ojibwe. I don't know. I'm just naming tribes, folks. I don't know the regions, uh, the Sioux or whatever. You know what I mean? Nobody's telling them they need to give this back to the other Indian tribe, Native American tribe, whatever. Nobody's telling them they need to give it back to each other. It's only Whitey McWhiterson. And this is the only, this is the only place on earth where this shit is really discussed. We have more slavery in the world today than we do at any point in our history. Yet the only point in history we focus on was our past here in the U.S. during a certain time frame. But... None of the other stuff is acknowledged, you know, none, none of it's acknowledged. We only want to talk about one part of history. That is the problem with our national discourse right now, folks. Um, but what do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think Ben and Jerry should give up their headquarters? You know, I'm not in favor of giving things back like that, you know, manifest destiny and all. But I think it would be kind of funny to see these leftists get kicked out of their own headquarters hoist by their own petard as it were via the twitter leave your thoughts in the comments below i'm etep wakui and from the place to be reviews i've been here with all the yous if i don't see ya have a great day a pleasant tomorrow and i'll catch you tonight at 8 35 eastern for holy shit news peace life moves pretty fast you don't stop and look around once in a while you could miss it it's better to burn out than to fade away I could do this all day. Increase, thank you very much. Yeah.
talking about What's your job, brother? It's a waste of good suffering.